Okay, we can cap things off with some over-unders on touchdowns. I know these are tough, but this is why you're here, to answer the tough freaking question. So, over-under, I'm not going to ask you over-under on guys that led the league because these numbers are crazy. Galladay had 11, Cup had 10, Michael okay. Thomas. You don't think that's crazy, man? Damn. Galladay is here, baby. All right. Here, here, here's for your Galladay, right? I like him too, but who had nine touchdowns? Michael Thomas, Chris Godwin, Devontae Parker, and who? Marvin Jones. Marvin yeah. Jones, man. Exactly. Was it, was it Paul that made a Marvin Jones comment earlier? <laughs> yeah, and I said Marvin Jones is dope. Right when he said, I was like, hey, Marvin Jones is dope. He had a game with four touchdowns in one game last year. He did, man. Paul, what's the word no on Marvin threat. Jones? Oh, come on. Give it. He's no threat to Galladay. He isn't. He really isn't, though. I, got, I don't think I got Galladay hype for, for days. Amandola even had a pretty good year. Amandola still got some juice in him. He made some he made some noise in some of those games, but Galladay, man, he's always there. It doesn't matter where you put him. It doesn't matter where you throw the ball. It doesn't matter who's throwing the ball. I mean, it goes the same for Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones has always been that kind of guy, but we're talking about a step above in Galladay. We are, but I think one of you, if not both of you, said – Galladay would get 100 receptions. I, I do not. The best ch- I thought he had the best chance of the guys who weren't on the list that you provided. Ah, I didn't think, yeah, I didn't that was your think, sleeper. Was I, your didn't sleeper. Think would ne- I didn't think he would necessarily get there, but if, if I had to pick someone who could potentially maybe get there, I don't think he will do it, but yeah. yeah. Yards and touchdowns. Yards and yeah. touchdowns is what I fear, but 100, no. That's, that's, too, much. Yeah, that's uh, too much for Stafford. <laughs> <laughs> Well, plus, I don't know how I feel about Matt Patricia, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, my gosh. At least he's on the other side of the ball. All right. Oh, oh, man. Well, no, I actually think he's involved in offense. You're right. So. I'm telling you, man, that pencil in his head is a wand. It has to be. It's like a bad luck, broken Harry Potter one or some, something not right over there. Harry? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay. all right. Over or under eight touchdowns by these guys that did it last year. Amari Cooper, over or under? Under. <sighs> I'll say under too. He disappears. <laughs> now you see. <laughs> so Amari is like John Cena. No man, the magic man in uh Can't see me. In what's that movie? <laughs> now you see me. No, you don't. Oh yeah, tell, tell the day and nights. Tell the day and nights. Yeah, yeah. That's a way better magic man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and do any of these guys go over or under? Do any of these guys go over eight touchdowns? Lockett, AJ Brown, Chark, Darius Slate. Any of them get Ooh. the over? I don't see it. You know what? I'm going with Slayton. That kid, he's super talented. He's super talented. I like what I saw from Danny Dimes, man. Aside from that game against the Patriots, if you wipe that out, I mean, he was he was pretty good. Cool. I agree. But he's got some stuff to work on, too. But, yeah. yeah oh, for yeah. sure. All right. Well, if I had to pick one, I'd say it's A.J. Brown. I just think he's a baller. Simple as that. Yes. Uh, all right. Over or under? Or, all right. I'm just going to give you this group, and you tell me if anyone gets the over. We'll go with that. Seven touchdowns. DeAndre Hopkins, Tyree, Tyree Hill. Allen Robinson. We'll start with those three, then I'll throw in the other guys. D Hop, Reek Hill, A Rob. I feel like they should all hit the over. Over seven TDs? Especially if Tyreek plays a whole year with Mahomes. You're looking at Mahomes at least 40 touchdowns. So you're telling me that at least eight of those aren't going to go to Hill. Um, and then. 
I don't know. And then Hopkins. And like I said earlier, touchdowns are hard to predict. Like I said with the example with Julio, you know, he's always low in touchdowns, which doesn't mean he's the worst player or anything. It's just, you know, the way the way it is sometimes. Um, but I just feel like all those guys, based on the targets they're going to get, that they should hit they should hit that number over. You sold me on Tyreek. True? Um, D Hop, yes. Won't he won't get the hundred catches. I don't see him going over one K, but I think he'll be in the touchdown zone. Um Allen Robinson, that's a yes too. Uh, I don't think they really have any other red zone options. Um Nick Foles is not afraid to let it rip, you know, so it's either going to Monty or it's going to A Rock. Um, so I think he'll hit <laughs> I think he'll hit it too. Um Tyreek. No, there's something about Tyreek, man. And oh. I did hear a stat. I did hear a stat the other day too about Tyreek Hill in, in fantasy, some fantasy podcast. But 21, only 21 out of the 43 games Tyreek Hill has started and finished, he's only finished as a wide receiver number two or better. 21. Out of, that's less than 50 percent. I'm selling that stock. Paul, you have any algorithm to quickly fact check that guy? <laughs> I checked it. I checked it. <laughs> All right. The other guys with seven TDs last year, Marquise Brown, Terry McLaurin, DK Metcalf, Calvin Ridley. Out of Brown, McLaurin, Metcalf, and Ridley, does any get over seven touchdowns? For me, DK is 100%. And I think uh, Ridley will hit that too, with uh, with Austin Hooper out of the mix. Yeah, that's a good Ridley's number. a beast, man. I really like Ridley. <laughs> yeah, I did until I had him in fantasy two straight years. But yeah, I like his potential. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's that's tough. That's a pretty good number for all of them. That, that's pretty much where they should right right where they should be at i think dk definitely should be a red zone beast you know with his size and his jumping ability like there's no reason he can't get double digit touchdowns a year depending on you know you know i like i know they like to run the ball in the red zone a lot so you know we'll see how that goes but um or pass at the one yard line yeah um yeah, and then uh, I don't know. It might be the only reason I'll say it, it'll be tough for Terry is because I I don't like Haskins either. Like Drew said earlier, I don't think he's he's got a long way to go. So that could definitely hurt hurt him. Um, I guess those are, those are my thoughts on it. Cool. All right. Fair enough. And then we'll cut out at six touchdowns over or under. I'll give you a name. You give me over or under. Julio Jones. I mean, damn over. it, he should be over. Over, over, all right. Stefan Diggs. Under. Yeah. I don't trust Josh Allen as a passer yet. I was going to say that earlier when we were talking about Brown and Diggs. I was like, he's still got a long way to go as a passer, so – Hopefully Diggs will behave himself when, when Allen's having those games where he's throwing the ball 30 yards over people's heads. You know? <laughs> he's doing it on purpose, man. He just wants to show you how, how much of a hose he has, you know, like Rodgers. Oh, right. He's throwing the ball away. That's right. He's like, oh, he's open. 80 yards out of bounds. <laughs> Damn. I say over. Julian Edelman. Oh, Was it Six. I'll give you that, man. I mean, like, who else? Who else are you going to throw a touchdown to? Nikhil. Nikhil. <laughs> Nikhil Harry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> uh, Maybe his name is Uncle, and we're just pronouncing it wrong. Uncle <laughs> Harry. <laughs> I don't know. Has anyone ever asked him that personally? Nikhil means uncle. Okay, good. <laughs> uncle. That's a Paul, you, you, know, right? you, got, you got the under on Edelman? Yeah. All right, that's enough. Jarvis Landry. <laughs> Over. 
I like that one too, actually. Yeah. Agreed. Curtis Samuel. Under. Under. He almost got traded last year. Doesn't mean he can't catch. <laughs> All right, hold on. How's the, how's the touchdowns going to go in Carolina with Teddy Bridgewater? There's no Greg Olson. There's only CMC in the backfield. So, I mean, who's going to get more touchdowns? It's all the attention's on DJ Moore. It won't be, though. All the attention's on CMC. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Cortland Sutton. What is Under. it? Sick? Ooh. Damn, he was good in the red zone last year, too. Yeah. Hmm. I'll say over. Paul over, Drew under. I like that number, man. Six is about right. So, on par? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> All right, Adam Thielen. Over. Yeah, no digs, yeah. Is Adam Thielen for real? Is he a wide receiver one? Oh, he for real, man. For real, like Juju for real? Oh, I don't know about that. Two guys that we haven't seen be a wide receiver one before? Just saying. Well, it depends on what you say wide receiver one, you know? Get out of that slot, Juju. <laughs> Thielen, hey, get out where, of that if slot. You're gonna line up and, if you're going to line up and ball, man, you're going to line up and ball. <laughs> All right. Paul, what'd you say on, on Thielen? Uh over, yeah. You guys both got over. Okay. <sighs> I mean, there's no one else there. Okay, over. John Brown. Dude, he's nasty, man. Come on. Under. Okay. <laughs> Under. Over. Come on, man. Buffalo. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. John Brown. I don't know. I was thinking uh, Ravens. He played for the Ravens, right? He did, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking Marquise Brown. So, John Brown, yes. Diggs, no. Okay. I got yes on both. And, Paul, you got no on both. Well, then who the hell is scoring in Buffalo? Devin. Josh Allen legs. <laughs> Devin. And Singletary. Devin, the single great player on that team. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just I'd kidding. be surprised if Josh Allen had 20 touchdown passes this year. So, you know. He had 20 last year. Kill him. All right, next guy up, Cole Beasley. What team is he on? Oh, come on. The Cowboys. Yeah, he was on the Cowboys for a while. Y'all don't know who Cole Beasley played for last year? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is it the Jets? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Was it the CFL? Oh, my goodness. No, he he actually had some good games. I remember Cole Beasley having some good games. No, he did, yeah. Give him some credit. He did, he Beasley. Did Where the hell was – wait. Uh, I thought – are we still – No, he wasn't on the Dolphins. The Bills. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Thank you. Six TDs for Beasley, John uh, Brown. I thought, we were, I thought we were joking around. I, I knew he played for the Bills. <laughs> Yeah, right. You can never live this down. That's like not knowing what, what Tom Brady played for last year. Come on, bro. We're talking about Cole Beasley. <laughs> hey, Diggs, Brown, Beasley, all six TDs last year. They're all yeah. going to have five. They're all three going to have five. Under. Exactly. They're all going to have five, and each of them is going to have a touchdown called back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you place that wager. That's great. Oh, my God. All right. Michael Gallup, McCole Hardman, any of them get over six CDs? Gallup. I don't see it. Okay. Me neither. Uh, Jamison Crowder, Rashad Perriman, over under six. Both on the Jets. 
I mean, someone, I mean, he has to, man. They got nobody else. Yeah, someone's got to get him, I guess. Denzel Mims? Denzel Mims? No, Perriman? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Le'Veon oh. Bell. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. All right, last two guys on this list, six TDs over or under, Golden Tate, Tyrell Williams. Tate, no. Yeah, I'll Tyrell, go no on that yeah. one. I think Tyrell hits it. Yeah. You both say yes on Tyrell? Yeah, I say yes on Tyrell. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Less focus. They're going to have to shade against the fastest receiver ever. Of course, he's on the Raiders. That's who the Raiders go. <laughs> I like it.